Hello folks, Nathan Hamilton, the son of Soyla, back here at uh, Days of the Dead. And I'm here with Patty Mullen, Frankenhooker herself. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. Excellent. Now, before we uh, actually get into the questions, I must tell you that Splatter Cinema is going to be showing Frankenhooker on February 12th. Make sure you're there at the newly refurbished Plaza Theater. Excellent venue to see any flick. Yay! Now, um, Doom Asylum was your first film. And uh, that was filmed at the Essex Mountain Sanitarium, which is reported to actually be haunted. Did you experience any kind of weird stuff while you were uh, filming there? Put it this way, you did not want to go to the ladies' room by yourself. It was all gray, and it was all the equipment was rusty. It definitely had a really, really creepy vibe to it. Um, there were the tables where they tied people up, you know, and. Sounds kinky. Oh, it was on. It, it was all the original equipment. Um, nice. Yeah, you didn't want to be stumbling through there on your own. That's for sure. We were usually done by dark. If you we weren't, I don't even know if I'd be there. <laughs> yeah. Now, in that flick, you actually died early and came back as another character. That seems to be a uh, recurring theme in your two movies. Why did that happen to that work know. out that way? I don't know. You're right, though. I did. Lost my hand in the first one, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he built a shrine with the hand and... Right. A couple newspaper clippings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Duma sounds actually kind of hard to track down these days, to tell you the truth. Got a picture from it right here. Excellent. Great flick. Yeah. Need to look yeah. for that one. Now, what was it like working with Frank Hennenlotter on Frank and Hooker? Oh, well, Frank is, um, <clears throat> Frank's such a unique individual. I just spoke to him uh, a couple months back. Uh, he's busy right now. I think he's shooting something. I just heard somebody told me he's in New Orleans. I'm not sure where he is, but uh, it was it was good to work with Frank. So, so he's shooting. He is. So we'll have a new Frank Hanlot or something. Something. Eventually. If I know Frank, you will. Excellent. Now one of my one of my favorite scenes in Frank and Hooker's when you first come back and you actually do some of the mannerisms of Elsa Lanchester from Bride of Frankenstein. Is that your idea? or Was that Frank's idea? That's all Frank. <laughs> all every bit Frank. Yeah. So most of the uh, characterization and the mannerisms were his idea. Okay, yes. cool. The man's a genius. Now, I've, I've heard you uh, say in you know interviews and commentaries that a lot of times you would just wear the makeup home instead of taking it off. What's a good story from someone seeing you and reacting to it just on your way home or something like that? You know, the neighbors kind of got used to it. <laughs> I guess they thought I just, you know, that's the way I dressed. Um, <laughs> maybe I was goth or... I, I don't know. Um, the most bizarre reaction I've ever gotten from it. You know what? I was coming home at 4 o'clock in the morning. Right. I was coming home at 5 o'clock in the morning. I really didn't get much. Mostly going through the toll booth. It was before sun passed. You had to reach out and pay, you know? That, that would catch them off guard. <laughs> Other than that, you know what? I'd walk into a store like that. It's New York City, man. Back in the 90s before it was all right. cleaned up. Yeah. I was fine. Not all that out of the ordinary, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Now, um, I mean, after Psycho, Janet Lee always said she had a psychological fear of showers. Do you have a fear of lawnmowers now? No fear of lawnmowers, but I don't like to cut the grass. Don't blame you. <laughs> now, uh, Frankenhooker, it's, it's got such a rabid fan base. What is it about that movie that gives it such staying power that so long after its release, it's still so popular? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but you know what? Look at all these tables, you know? Sometimes mm -hmm. the line goes all the way down yeah. and around. And my line might be a little bit shorter, but they have tattoos of Frankenhooker on their head, on their leg, on their arm, on their chest. I've counted about 10 already. Here? Yeah, I have them wow. on my cell phone. I always cool. photograph, I always take pictures next to them. I think it's so, that's a bigger commitment than marriage. Right. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, my fans, they're hardcore, right. you know? So let them have the longer lines. Give me the tattoos. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what was your reaction the first time you saw yourself in ink on someone's flesh. It was on the back of somebody's head. And he had on <laughs> army boots, right? Wow. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my God. That's so, Kevin, he's Ke insane. He, he's distracting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it, he was in army boots, fatigues, bald, right? Um, black tank. Mm -hmm. And he comes walking up to the table. I thought, oh shit, this guy's gonna kill me, you know? Right? Yeah. 
marching up, stands at the front of the table, stands up, spins around, bam, there it is, right on the back of his head. Wow. Big picture of Frankenhooker. Ah, his name is Phil. That just blew me away. Wow. Really good tattoo, too. So I took a picture, you know, with the back of his head and me next to it. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, a tattoo is dedication. A tattoo on your head is a whole different level different, of dedication. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, was there ever any serious talk of a Frankenhooker 2? You know, I talked to Frank about it a lot. Um, I don't think he feels there's anywhere to go with it. Right. And he's writing something else that has Jeffrey in it, and it has Frankenhooker in it, and it has the guy from Basket Case in it, and it has, like... You know, he likes to work with the right. same people mm -hmm. over and over. I, I don't know what he's writing. I, can, I, I can't even guess. Okay. Well, um, you, after Doom Island and Frankenhooker, you kind of disappeared from acting. I did. It's like, what, and you were great in both those movies. Where, what, what happened? I disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I um, left New York City. I moved to South Florida. All right. Got married and uh, had two little girls and just, you know, Okay. Cool, yeah, parenting, full-time job there. Disappeared. Yep. Now, um, you were Penthouse Pet of the Year, and you did a lot of promotional appearances when you were doing that. What was the most bizarre place you were sent, event you took part in? Ah, oh, there were so many. <laughs> so many. You know, I'm, I'm trying to think. There's just so many. I, and, and after I'm done, you know, mm -hmm. after we're done speaking, right. I'm going to think of so many more. Um... <laughs> I was seated once next to that uh, amazing Kreskin, I think his name was. Mm -hmm. He could bend silverware by looking at it, you know. Right. <laughs> and he grabbed my soup spoon and he just melted it in his fingers, you know, and he handed it to me. I was, I was young and, right. that, you know, at any age, that's right. bizarre. Yeah, you know? kind of freak you out a little um, bit. Just all the people I met through Penthouse, I, w I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, Al Lewis. Mm -hmm. um, I've done the tango with Al Lewis at That's a party. Cool. That was very cool. He was very cool. How many uh, people can say they tangoed with Grandpa? How many Munster? people tangoed with Grandpa? Yeah, that's High awesome. five. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah, there was a lot of cool promotions. You know, really, yeah. really fun things I would have did. Anyway, yeah, now one of the other places you popped up outside the movies was on the Clash of the Champions one. Wait, what is that? that? That's so long ago. That's so funny. I remember when I did that. I was in the dressing room waiting, getting ready, right? And um, one of the wrestlers walked in. Should mm -hmm. I say which one? Go for it. Sting walked in. Okay. And he just said, "You're gonna vote for me, right?" <laughs> And I said, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> nice. And he won. <laughs> yeah. Might have, it was all because of you, right? You were his I mean, inspiration. He might have said it to all the other judges, too. I don't know yeah, what happened. Go. I just know, I, you know, he was, uh, I did it, yeah. Now, you only started doing the con scene a couple of years ago, right? Like a year, like a year ago. This is like fourth, fifth show like this right so what do you think of doing cons you enjoy getting out here and meeting the fans and doing the whole convention thing yeah i really do cool i like to take pictures with all these people dressed up look at her right see if you weren't here right now i'd be taking pictures with her cool. yeah. i'm constantly leaving this table though i'm always walking around right there's so much to see yeah, too, I, know, you know? I know yeah. i know now when i put on the blog that i was interviewing gonna hopefully interview you i asked for questions, and the one thing I got, I had three different people tell me that they would stop reading if I didn't ask you to do the Frankenhooker face at some point. Could you do the face for us? Want a date? Going out? I think got I might. Money? <laughs> I might need. Looking for action? <laughs> Take it away, man. Now, uh, I guess my last question: Do you know where I can score some super crack? You might want to try the Lower East Side. What state are you looking at? I'm looking for a state of oblivion if I'm doing super crack. You're looking in Georgia, you're looking in South Florida, what? you're looking in New York City, you're looking in Los Angeles. You got a hook up around here? Oh, you might want to dive. Georgia's new. I, I don't know, man. Right. You're on your own. Uh, well, I'm going to go continue my search for super crack. Make sure you come to the plaza on the 12th to come see Frank yeah. and Hooker. 
Thank you, Miss Mullen. Wait. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Can you make the face? You did it. <laughs> awesome. Stay tuned here at Sun of Cellar for more interviews from Days of the Dead.